Hi, Rusty Stainless here. Today I'm here to talk to you about this little device. Um, it's a uh, fluid line clamp is the uh, common name you'd find on uh, Google for it. And this is an alternative to a inline toe tap. Now, an inline toe tap is a very good thing. It's a very good thing for you when you want to be towed. But what about those times that you're out in the bay, you're enjoying yourself, and some other loser, uh, their ski breaks down, and they need to be towed home. And they don't have a toe tap. So what do you do? So long, suckers! No. You have to stay there and you have to help them. And if you're 30 k's across the bay or across the lake from home and you've got to tow them back on their cedar at 15 kilometers an hour, well, you do the math and just as a big storm's coming towards you and you think, oh my God, I've got to ring for help, uh, but no, you power on. And so you're in a position where your toe tap, you can't take that out of your ski and put it in their ski. So you're stuck, unless of course you happen to carry your own clamp, your own toe tap, plastic toe tapper. And uh, so for the, the little price that this thing costs, it's well worth the effort because let's face it, your ski's gonna break down, so is everyone else's ski's gonna break down. You're, you know, you being okay doesn't mean them being okay. And in effect, in the worst case scenario, they just drown you down with themselves. So, this, got this on eBay. It actually came as a set of three. I that packed one of them. The little bit of uh, WD-40 and a little bit of boat grease on there. I did that because this thing's got a screw in it and I can't be sure that that screw is stainless. So an alternative would be to take the screw out, substitute a tiny little bolt with a lock nut on there, stainless bolt, and away you go. Now the downsides to this system, well, you've got to know which hose to clamp. And if you do your research, you might, you might be lucky. And if you're not, if you're not confident, well then you don't take the risk and you put it away. But if you do know the right hose, well, Bob's your uncle, put it on, ratchet it up tight, and away you go. So remember I said, you're out trying to help someone and you want to know which hose to get to uh, clamp, then if you've got signal, well then why not Google it? And just as I did, I found uh, this is a, um, a piece out of uh, the manual for this model ski and it shows the hose that I have to clamp. So, you know, it's not going to be 100%. Nothing's ever 100% right. Or, you know, sometimes you meet challenges that you can't overcome. So anyway, I know which hose to clamp, and that must be this one down here. So, get out my trusty toe tapper tool, which uh, I put in the backpack bag, as you recall, and I've been dying to open a backpack bag because that's more fun than uh, popping uh, bubble wrap. So, we get rid of that, and here we go, we've got the tool, and we, it's got this here, that holds it shut, this piece. So, we put that down, simply put it over the hose, give it a squeeze, and then we pull up the clamp like that. It's now done. 
good for the trip home. That that won't fall off there. That's like a bloody dog with a tasty bone. Won't go anywhere. Take it off. It's done. No damage to the hose. And you can see on here, I'll just turn it at the right angle, but there's a couple of knobs here. And so when you pull this thing shut, you just bring this up to those knobs. And it's done. And you're on your way. There you go. Not a bad little investment. Not because you've done the wrong, right thing or wrong thing, because some other fool out in the bay has done the wrong thing.